Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles. I'm sitting inside of my house and I'm about to make some wood sorrel syrup, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Alright, now one thing I absolutely enjoy is syrup. I like all kinds of syrup, actually. And a while back I actually decided it would be pretty interesting to take wood sorrel and turn it into some syrup. So you can see I've got a couple things here. I have about half a cup of chopped up wood sorrel leaves. I have some sugar. And I also have about a cup of water here. So the first thing we want to do is turn on our burner. Get our water nice and hot. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so you can see our water is starting to heat up now. We're just going to take our cup of wood sorrel leaves and we're just going to put them in there. And we're going to turn the burner off. We don't want this to boil yet. We just want to let this steep for about 10 to 15 minutes, just like we're making a wood sorrel tea. Ah, uh, yeah, that smells good. And here you may notice there's some flowers in here. I actually have wood sorrel flowers and pods in here. Those are totally safe and kosher to use if you feel comfortable with using them. I don't mind using them. They taste just fine. So we're just going to let this steep for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then again, I'll get back to you. Okay, now while our wood sorrel is steeping, it's a good idea to go ahead and measure out about half a cup of sugar. Okay, so I've got my half cup sugar, and now we just got to wait a few more minutes for this to finish up. And while your wood sorrel is steeping, you also might want to just kind of stir it around a little bit, give it some movement. This will help to release a little more of the flavor from the sorrel. And then whenever your wood sorrel is done, get yourself a strainer and a bowl so you can catch the liquid. We want to strain all of these leaves out of the, out of the water. Alright, now this is starting to smell pretty good. We're just going to dump our water into the bowl here. Try to get as many of these leaves out as possible. We don't want any of them ending up in our syrup. Move this around, kind of smash them. Help them release a lot of their water. As you can see, they, they hold water really well. And then we want to dump this bowl kind of carefully because there is going to be some sediment that made it through. All right. Pick out any big stragglers. All right, now we have a pan of wood sorrel tea. So we want to go ahead and turn our burner back on. We want to pour sugar in until we feel we have the right amount. Your syrup a stir. And here I've used only a quarter of a cup of sugar at this point. It smells like it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm going to need to add just a touch more. And we'll just continue to stir it up and we're going to let this get to a simmer and then I'll get back to you. As your wood sorrel cooks, it's a good idea to also check it by getting a spoon and pouring the liquid in a separate container and letting it cool off. Just so you can see where it's at as a syrup, because you don't want it to turn into candy. You want this to be a syrup. And if you let it cook too long or reduce too much, you'll end up with a candy. Okay, here you can see it's really starting to heat up nicely. Here you can see it's also starting to simmer. And the whole point of this is basically just to simmer it down until you get the consistency you desire for your syrup. Everybody kind of likes a different consistency of syrup. Some people really like runny. Some people really like thick, almost honey-like syrup.
and we're just going to continue to let this simmer until it gets to the consistency that we're looking for. Okay, now while your syrup is still warm, it's going to be a little runny, but as it cools down, it's going to thicken. So that's something to keep in mind. Alright, then as your syrup starts cooling off a bit, and whenever it's not boiling anymore, go ahead and get a clean jar, and then just dump it into the jar. Like I said, right now it looks really runny and watery, but whenever it cools down, it's going to thicken considerably. And we just want to let that sit on the counter until we can actually touch it at least. And there's your finished syrup, a really nice golden wood sorrel flavored syrup. And right now you can use that syrup as it is, or you can set it in the refrigerator with the lid on it. And it should store for a couple months actually. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found this helpful.